Hello guys and welcome back to another video. This video is the first in the build series of the BF110 from Italieri. Um, and in this video we will be putting together the cockpit and the fuselage halves together. Um, so yeah, going straight into it. As you can see here, you've got the first um, set of instructions on the cockpit. Um, so I'll just snip off all the parts that I need for that. Um, I just use these uh, side cutters that I got a while ago. I'm not sure what they're army painter ones. Um, and these have lasted me a long time. Um, this is still a bit blunt. But at the moment, they're the only ones I've got. So um, what we're going to do after we've done this is um, go through and take off all the uh, little nibs of plastic with a, with a sharp knife. Um, so just taking off all the parts that we need for this. And um, that one's quite loose. Uh, so, yeah, this might take a while. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all the parts off, um, speed it up and take all the parts off. Put some music over and uh, I'll see you when we've got all the parts. So now we've got all the parts off that we need, I'm going to go in with a sharp uh, bladed knife and just cut off all the, um, all the excess plastic. Um, just make sure it's a nice, clean piece. Um, you want to do this with all the parts. Um, <laughs> as this is my uh, first build series, please do bear with me um, because it won't be amazing, but I will do my best. Just cutting all the little nibs off of all the parts. Make sure they're all clean. There's some nice, uh, well, say nice, there's a bit of molded detail um, on this uh, seat, so uh, be careful with that. It's uh, not too fine, but. Uh, be careful not to stab yourself and uh, take any of the detail off. You can do this with, um, well, you can cut them off and then sand it to give it a nice smooth finish. I do do that most of the time. If it needs it, I'll do it but um, most of the time it doesn't need it if you use a sharp enough knife. What you might notice is I haven't cut off the, um, the figures from the sprues because I won't be using them um, purely because as uh, you guys will know, if you watched my last videos, um, I'm doing it as a crashed diorama and uh, the figures, well, the men um, aren't in their seats in the uh, diorama. So, uh, well, in the photograph that I'm basing it off of, they're not in the uh, cockpit. So, I will not be adding them. There are some uh, mold lines. I'm not sure you can see that, but uh, there are some mold lines in this. So I'll cut off what I can with a knife and then I'll go back over it with a sander, with a sanding stick. So, um, sorry, sanding stick. Um, so then it will take them all out.
careful not to slip. Um, if you have a tough nib, you can either either have to cut away from you or go down onto the uh, cutting mat and do it like this. Then at least if you slip, um, you go straight into the cutting mat instead of into your hand. <laughs> So I've now um, cut all the nibs off of the parts, so it's just now gluing them up and putting them all together. And I am using um, Tamiya's extra thin cement for this. Probably be best to uh, put the pedals in first and then the control panel on. <laughs> Just using the tip of the knife, or you can even use a um, pair of tweezers just to straighten up the smaller parts. And it just perfects them a little bit, so they're not all wonky. I have missed a couple of nibs on the, uh, the stick here, so uh, I will just quickly cut those off. little mold lines as well So that's now glued in there nicely and then putting the side panels on. I have left a bit of plastic up here so just to get a nice even fit. Just take that off.
to do. Um, I'm going to put all this together and then paint it all up in a base coat. It should look quite nice. Now putting in the gunner's seat, as it were. It's not really a seat, but uh, the gunner's position. I suppose it is a seat because he sits on it, but... Uh... <laughs> so that's the uh, cockpit all together. Um, what I'll do is I'll spray it all one colour and then I'll put the decals on and uh, do a bit of touching up with the brush. So I'll see you guys in a sec. So I've um, painted the cockpit interior. Um, the colour I used was the German Field Grey uh, from Tamiya, the spray can. Um, it's not the right colour, but um, once it's all weathered, it should look quite good. And uh, just to save time, I've taken all the parts off, um, the, all the rest of the parts off that we need for this episode. Um, the two um, fuselage halves and the nose and two of the guns. I think there's one other um, gun as well, which I'll cut off when we need them. And then you've got, also got the, uh, the rear gunner, the rear gunner's gun and the mount and everything like that as well. I have made a bit of a mistake um, when cutting off the gun. Uh, the machine gun itself I did put a little bit of a divot well when I was cutting off the uh, little nib from the uh, bit of sprue that was on um, I cut a little divot into the barrel so what I'll do is I'll uh, go back in there with a bit of sprue goo and uh, fill it in and then sand it away and that should look like there's nothing there I think I did the same a similar sort of thing I'm not sure you can see that there on the, um, on the fuselage I'll do the exact same thing with that, just fill it and uh, sand it away. Um, I'm going to do the cockpit interiors the same colour and uh, then pick out all the little details that are in there. So that should look quite nice. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go in with brush and pick out all these bits in black. The, uh, the stick you can see there and um, I'm going to put the decal on and um, the buttons that are there. I think I'll do the uh, the seat in a brown colour, um, so that should look quite nice once that's done. The colour I'm going to use for all the buttons and everything like that is the black uh, 71.057 from Vallejo Air. Um, very good paint. I've used, I think, three or four bottles of these now, um, so I'll go through them quite quickly. So, uh, yes, they are already pre-thinned down for... Um, for airbrushing but if you do small um if you do it in small bits with a brush you can brush paint them on as well So because I couldn't get on with the brush that I was using before, I'm going to go over to a finer brush one that's got uh, all the bristles nice and uh, fine. So just to get the point, um, I just put it in my mouth and lick it and uh, it brings it to a nice point there. As you can see, I'm sure you can see that. But yeah, so I'll just go into the paint and then go back in and pick out the, the fine details.
do is to go over the whole um, control panel area with the black um, and then put the put the decal over the top. So what I'm using here is the earth brown from Vallejo and a bit of the black and just going to go onto the seats for the cushions on the airbrush. <laughs> So what I've done is I've sprayed the, uh, the seats brown and then gone over the whole thing with a black, um, with the same black, the Vallejo black, um, just to give it a bit of a weathered look. It's not, I'm not going to super detail this, I'm purely just picking out a few bits in black and just doing the seats in uh, brown. I'll probably pick out the, uh, the seat belts there in a different colour. Um, but yeah, apart from that, the cockpit's nearly done. I've got but the uh, the decal on for the, um, what's it called, the, the for the control panel. And then I've also sprayed the um, machine gun in the same black, so I'll be sticking that on. So now I'm going to spray the two halves of the uh, fuselage, the insides of the fuselage um, in, what colour is this? This will be the German grey again, uh, the field grey. Um, this is the bottled version. I've watered this down so I can put it through my airbrush. One thing to remember is never, ever, ever mix these two paints in your airbrush because if you do, they're made of different uh, chemicals. So if you do, even, although they're both acrylics, if you do, then they'll, um, it'll make like a, a snotty mixture and it'll clog your airbrush and it, no it'll be a, a hell to uh unclog and clean and it, it just just don't do it <laughs> so i learned that the hard way with my last airbrush so uh yeah never put vallejo paints and tamiya paints into an airbrush together because it will just clog it all up so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna pet this into my airbrush um spray these two halves um put the the decal on for the for the control panel and then put the two halves together and What I've done with this machine gun is I've cocked it up into an upright position because if the gunner wasn't in there, then um, the gun wouldn't be down. It would be cocked up because of the weight of it. And the reason I've painted the uh, control panel is because in between the controls, it's, um, it's not black, it's clear. So um, you get different decals with different kits and different aircraft. Um, but with some you have a complete blacked out um, control panel and with others you have it like this where it's all clear. So what I'm going to use for the decals is I'm going to use this jar lid 
and the water you want to use is lukewarm not cold not boiling because well you can use cold but it will take a, a lot longer um, so you don't need to keep on changing it but obviously if you use boiling then uh, you might ruin the decor and you don't want to burn your hands either so um yeah so it takes a, a lot it, it's a lot quicker if uh you use lukewarm water um compared to cold as it cold as it cools down sorry it will take a lot longer to uh to take the deco off and uh make the glue so as you can see when the glue has activated you can see that the uh the deco moves if i hold that still there you go so the glue has now been activated so then you get your cockpit interior i'm just going to grab a pair of tweezers and then turn it around grab it with the tweezers there's multiple ways you can do this so i'll do that and then just slide it onto the so after a bit of a struggle i have now managed to get the uh decal onto the control panel so what i'll do now is i'll go in with the microsol i haven't got any micro so i'm just gonna have to use this um go in with that and that should bed it down nicely obviously there's no raised detail but uh just to give it a bit more support i'll add a bit of this so what i've now done is i've glued in the um the cockpit the gunner position and i'm just positioning it now um there's a bit of bar that goes across where the gunner is and i'm just painted that and i'm just setting it into place and that just goes across between the two halves of the uh, fuselage and i've painted the interiors um on both halves and just waiting for the glue to dry so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to put the both halves together and uh, wait for it to set So now the two halves are together, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the guns in the front and then put the nose on. All the guns are in the front that need to be fitted. Now I'm going to fit the nose onto the body. That's the nose onto the body. Um, it's coming on quite well. Yes, there are the seam lines which I will file out and uh, patch up, so that shouldn't be a problem. Um, I might deepen the, uh, the panel lines as well, just because they're a bit shallow. But yeah, so it's not not looking too bad. 
Um, so yeah, that will be the end of the video here. Um, next video will be going onto the wings and um, maybe the tail section as well. So uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Please do like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to see the rest of this build, please press the, uh, the bell icon. Make sure you set it to all because for some strange reason, YouTube isn't notifying people if they set it to custom. So please make sure you do that if you want to see the rest of this. And uh, yeah, so keep modeling. Have a good one. Bye bye.